So we'll look at this problem in my math lab. We'll just copy it in here to the notes so we can look at it. All right, so uh, we can clearly see the minimum value is 9, and the max is uh, 11,896, because this is fortunately already sorted for us. There are 10 values in here, so the median is going to be halfway between those two middle values. So we know x tilde or q2 is going to be the average of 99.34 and 10.106. By all means, use your calculator and see what we get. And so 99.34 plus 101.06, we divide that by 2, we get 10,020. Okay, so 10,020. Okay, now let's use our processes to find the first quartile, which is the 25th percentile. And so what we're going to do, we use our flowchart. We'll say L equals K over 100 times N, which would be 25 hundredths times 10, since there's 10 values in the list. This is going to be 2.5. According to the flowchart, we are supposed to, uh, when K, L is not a whole number, we're supposed to go down here and change L by rounding up to the next largest whole number. And then we use that L, that is our number. We use that exact item. So we round it up to 3. And we use the third item in the list, which is 8681. And then same thing for Q3. We're going to take L equals 75 hundredths times 10, which is going to be 7.5. We're going to again round that up to L equals 8. And then so we take that eighth value, which is 11,457. So we've got our five number summary. Now we could also, in this case, click on this icon here, or you know, in my math lab, right there, we click on this icon and it says open a stat crunch. So we open a stat crunch. And there's our data. Or if we didn't want to use, you know, if we didn't want to open a stack cruncher for whatever reason they didn't work, we could always type in the numbers directly. I could go back to this example we did with the class heights, and I could have typed those numbers in manually into stack crunch. We would have had the same uh, process here. But let's go into stack crunch. We're going to go into stat summary stats columns. We're going to tell it which uh, where our data is. Our data is in variable once I have to select that. And then make sure that the ones I want are highlighted here. Well, minimum, maximum, Q1, Q3. And median was up above there. So median, min, max. Now those are the only ones I want. I could unselect the other ones here. They're not going to hurt anything though, so I'll go ahead and click Compute. And we get our five number summary there. Min is 9, max is 11,896, and so on. So just for reference here, we'll paste that in there. And our five number summary is all right here. Same numbers we just got. There is our, our min, which is 9, our max, 11,896, Q1 is 8,681, Q3 is 11,457, and median is 10,020. Stack crunch is, of course, a little bit faster, but this is a simple enough concept I think it is worth at least looking at to make sure we understand the concept. When you're doing your homework or whatever, feel free to use stack crunch. It's fine. It does save you some time. But that finishes up our uh, five number summary. And then we can do a visual representation of these things in what is called a box plot. So, a box plot, which is also known as a box and whiskers plot, or just box and whiskers. Uh, is a visualization of the of the distribution above a number line. We draw vertical lines. At each uh, each number in the five number summary. 
and then a horizontal connecting all five. And then we also draw a box around uh, Q2, Q3, and Q4. So let's see that what that would look like for this particular set of data that we just did. We'll make our number line. And then since our values, our minimum value is 9, and maximum value is 11, 457, so we'll just put 9 there and well, really better way would be to put maybe 0 and 12,000 okay, at our ex extremes. And we want to make sure things are to scale, so I'll put 6,000 right about there, um, and then 3,000 would be right about there, and 9,000 would be right about there, and that's probably enough. Okay, so vertical lines at each of our five numbers somewhere, so the minimum is 9, so we're going to get a minimum, you know, almost at the zero there. And Q1 was 8681. So 8681. And that would be about 7,000. That would be about 8,000. So Q1 is probably right about there. Q2, the median is 10,020. So if that's 9,000, 10,000, 11,000. So 10,020, right about there. Q3 was 11,457. So right about there. And the max was 11,896. Right about there. We draw our horizontal line connecting all five of these. We draw a box. Really, we just close the box. And we have a box and whisker plot. Now what this allows us to see, as I said, it gives us a visualization of the distribution. This shows us this thing's a little bit skewed. Right, when we've got really this one, this one value of data, this nine is really way below. We can see that obviously from the list. If you if you throw out that nine, the rest of these values are not as randomly spread out. That nine seems a little weird. That's uh, what we might call an outlier. But we'll discuss outliers later. Let's get back into the exercise here. And five number summary, let's go ahead and plug them in here. Nine, and then we had 86, 81, and then 10,020 was the median, and 11,457, and 11,896. Good job. And then we have, they want us to draw the box plot. Well, they're not going to make us draw it by hand. We look at the pictures. So we look at what we drew, we try to see which one of these matches up with that, and it can be a little hard to decipher all of these numbers in here. That's why it's important to go ahead and draw it by hand. You'll understand the, the, the process better that way anyway. So let's look at our four graph choices and compare it to the graph that we drew. Starting with the minimum value, it should be a 9. Uh, a does not look right, it should be way over there, so that's not it. B, C, and D all appear to have the correct minimum value. Then we look at uh, Q1, our first quartile, which is 8,000 something, almost 9,000. B looks okay, that's 6, 7, 8, 9, so it should be right about there, looks good. And D looks okay, but C, 6, 7, 8, 9, first quartile should be right about there, so we can cross off C, doesn't have the right Q1. Q2 should be just above 10,000, it's 10,020, so 9, 10 should be right there. So B is incorrect. Just for good measure, let's check. D quartile looks about right, just above 10,000. Q3 should be, you know, between 11 and 12, looks good. And then the maximum value just below 12 looks close enough. The answer is D. And that's box plots.